Hey, what's up everyone? My name is George and this is SaaS Master. Today I'm going to show you how to connect root forms with Pavli Connect. So what this is going to enable you do, to do is to send your root forms information to others, other places like CRMs, social media, Google Sheets, um, just your email marketing software or wherever you want to send it. So what this could do is an alternative for Sapier. And right now there's a really good deal on Pavli, so take advantage of it. The link will be in the description. So the first thing we have to do on Fluid Forms is obviously install the plugin if you don't have it and head on over to settings. We have to enable webhooks because this is not enabled by default. So head on over to modules up here. And as I already did, I have it enabled. So please enable webhooks. Once you have that, create the form or use the form that you already have. In this case, we are going to create a brand new form for this case. So let's just use this contact form. All right, let's wait for that to load. So this is created right here. And what we have to do is head on over to settings. In settings, head on over to webhook right here. Remember, if you don't have enabled webhooks, you won't see this. We add a new webhook. And in this case, we're going to call it Pavli. All right, just you can call it whatever you want. Now we need the webhook from Pavli. So let's head on over to Pavli and let's create a brand new workflow. So this will be Wood form workflow. All right, let's save that. All right, so this is webhook, and now we have our own webhook link. This is a special link, each one is different. So let's paste that link right here. And something that you have to consider really important is this request method. So remember, we are in fluid forms, so we don't want information, we want to post information. So once a form is filled out, it's going to send out that information to the webhook. So really important, it's post. Let's create this web, webhook feed. All right, successful. Now let's embed this right here into a brand new form. So let's grab one of the pages I already have right here and let's put it there. All right, let me see. No, I don't have. Oh, there, there's no need for testing purposes. Let me go back. For testing purposes, let's just use the preview right here and let's fill this out. But before we do that, we're going to select right here, capture webhook response. All right. So now it's, it's searching, it's searching for that webhook once it's sent. All right. So let's just fill this thing with whatever, George Aguilar and just email. Oops. All right. Email subject testing and message, just whatever, all right? And submit form. Let's wait for that to load. Boom, it's submitted. Let's head on over to Pavli. Let's wait for that, there you go. It grabbed it, just like that. So it grabbed the fields from Fluid Forms because now it knows, so it's like name, first name, last name, email, subject, message. If you had other sections, it will find it right here and it will, it will post it so you can see what you have. So these are the information that we have from Fluid Forms, and now we can create tasks with this. So as you can see, we connected Fluid Forms with Public Connect. After this, we can do send it to a CRM, send it to a marketing place. So for example, we have all these options available. So for example, email marketing, Mailchimp, Trello, SendFox, Mailer Lite, Moosin, Get Response, and just a whole bunch of them that are available. Maybe you want to send it to an email. I mean, you can do that in Fluid Forms, but maybe you want to do something with it. Send it along with something else. You can do that also. Um, Intercom, Stripe, Hunter. Maybe you need information there with the email. You want to do something in Hunter with it. You want to check that. You want to send it to your email marketing like Automize, or maybe you want to post it to WordPress. I mean, I don't know. Depending what you're going to use the form for, yeah, that could work. You could send it to Google Sheets. You could send it to P Cloud. Uh, just many things. I mean, you could even post it to Facebook. I mean, just for example, Facebook fan page. If I were to select that, I would connect to a fan page. Let's just oh, don't want to do that. Yeah. I right, save that there. Um, let's just say if I wanted to write a message, well, we got all the fields that we grabbed from uh, fluid forms over here. So we have them now. So for example, if I want to post first name and then I space bar and then I went the last name and then I enter and then I'm going to put the email, and the subject, and enter again and the message. I mean, that's just an example. Let's just say you have a forum that's, I don't know, for something and you want to post it on Facebook. So that's available. You can do that in Pally Connect or send it to a CRM. 
So that is the way that you connect Fluid Forms to Pally. I hope you guys like this video, really short one, really easy to do. And if you guys feel that you want that deal, Pally Connect, and you don't have it, the link will be in the description. And if you don't have Fluid Forms, that link will be also there. Thank you for watching. My name is George, and this is SASMAS.